welcome to Strategic Gaming's new campaign. We're getting right into it. This is American Civil War 3.5. The other one was 3.3, I believe, and we had a lot of problems with it crashing, and we lost all of our save games. So we have to start a new one, and I figured, hey, we played as the Union, so why as well, or might as well play as the uh, Confederacy as well. So let's get right into it. We're going to start by building up our capital, as always. Building a regional command, an ordnance factory, and a barracks. I'm going to build up our infrastructure. Let's see, we have no armies as of yet. What about navy? No navies. We are ill prepared for war. So we're going to have to do this as quickly as possible because basically the enemy is uh, the Union and they are a manufacturing powerhouse they have the people to recruit as you guys remember from the the union videos um, it's very easy to wage wars in the north you have almost basically unlimited funding and it's very easy to out money the south but let's see here governor's residence now since we're so far out west it's hard to maneuver armies. I mean, it's easy to get them where you want them to go. It just takes a long time because the expanses are so great. See, the distances are very huge, but over here on the East Coast, it's a lot more clustered. But our plan right now, let me look at the map. Okay, our plan is going to be to build up. We are going to push an army in the West and then meet or head towards St. Louis. And we're going to push uh, an army up the east coast here, and we'll meet in St. Louis. St. Louis, Missouri. Missouri was a slave state during the war, but they did join the Union side. Let's see here. Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, we can't recruit any soldiers from there. It's right next to Kentucky. We need soldiers there. So the soldiers from New Orleans are going to be the ones headed up there. Louisiana Volunteers, 210, 360. Some of these units are more expensive than others. Real quick, since I'm seeing the artillery, let me go back over here. I want to get rid of one of these units. We're going to add an artillery piece. Yeah, back to Louisiana. We are going to hire or recruit Louisiana Volunteers. Going down to San Antonio, Texas, 2-0. And, oh. and uh, let's see here. Military governor encampment infrastructure. We don't, well, I don't really want cavalry. Ca cavalry, um, they make big targets. And in a head-on course, they're not going to hold up like, like infantry will. And no, I'm not trying to hit everything head-on. But... I mean, eventually you're going to have to shoot it out at some point. And unless you can close that, multiple units of cavalry, you can outflank and destroy someone's morale and make them break. Oh, Nashville Chihuahua. Upgrade that. But you can make them break relatively quickly. But if they get any volleys off while you're approaching, I mean, it's a lot of casualties very quickly. We are going to upgrade to tenanted farms. This brings us more income recruiting these places. We have plantations. Well, let's just do the farms because they're cheaper. Add a tobacco plantation over here. Ooh, a silver mine. Silver mine is good for income. Now it's 3,000. We want to add as much to our infrastructure as possible. Here we go. Another farm, another farm. And these are going to build relatively quickly as well. Sugar or coffee? Well, I do like coffee. We are going to keep moving. Here we go. Peasant farms. Peasant farms. Tentative farms. On oh, iron mine. See, this is the stuff we need right now. It's affordable. We can get a lot of it very quickly, relatively speaking. And uh, that's going to help us out in the in the long haul here. Let's see. Back to recruitment. Can anyone else recruit? Recruitment in Midland, Texas. 
not what I need so we're gonna upgrade here as well it's about all we can afford what is our income looking like twelve point six thousand who can we trade with Great Britain we need money yes Great Britain Haiti wants Florida we do not give land up for that we are not going to pay for friendship in any form or fashion same there let's see what about you Spain do you wanna trade with us yes and the United Provinces you're friendly as well let's go ahead and trade unfortunately sir this offer is unacceptable at this time so you don't wanna you don't wanna trade with the South I see how it is okay we're gonna go ahead and enter trade agreement they want us to give up regions that's a no to the United States New Mexico that's a no to France American Civil War reasons for war alright let's see recruitment we need to stay on recruitment we need an army we're gonna get some more Right now we have conscripts, so let's get a group of Virginia volunteers and a group of conscripts. And what was the other one? Midland, Texas, Louisiana, I believe. Yep. We can have one more unit of that, and we're going to start getting these Mississippi volunteers, of which we can have five. So there's two. Midland, Texas. You know what, Midland, Texas? Start recruiting some cannons. We're going to need artillery. All right, let's see. We can't. See, this is another problem here is we are, we're just not able to produce like I would like. All right, let's see. Jackson, Mississippi. Who can you recruit? Get an artillery piece. Let's see. Ordnance school. Regional command. Okay, we're going to. Well, that's a lot of money, but we're going to do it. And upgrade the barracks, ordnance factory. We'll go ahead and upgrade everything in Mississippi. And let's just start making a variety of infrastructure. Oh! That took everything. All right. What is our income? 16. So we went from 12.6 to 16.6. So we're making 4,000 more this turn. Trade agreement with the United States? No, because we're going to go to war. This is a war. We're not seeing eye to eye right now. Trade agreement with the provinces? Yes. The American Civil War, the South has seceded. Recruited units. See, lots of construction was finished. We're going to be pulling 17.6. Now, let's go through here and look for these farms. Steam pumped iron mine. Let me see. Tennessee. Oh, we have plenty of control. We can build that. I just. Right here, I want to show for the people that don't know, minus one happiness from industrialization. We want to keep control of our populace. If they get upset, they riot, then they rebel, and then we're fighting extra fronts to a war that is already going to be a hard war to win. Let's see. I thought I saw some more farms that were completed. Here we go. Tentative farms. Tentative farms. Plenty of farms now. You know what? We can also, while we're at it, naval recruitment. Are there still trade available? Is there still trade available? I apologize. No, it does not. There is no place to trade 
but we are going to have to defend our ports from uh, any Union attempts to blockade them. What is this? Steamship can currently have 10. Is that it? These are the only three? Basically. How much is it to maintain these? 440. They're like artillery pieces. Whoa. Never mind. Since these are down here, though, we'll go ahead and upgrade them. Since they're relatively safe. They're far away from Union shores. Virginia, we need to continue building an army in. Alright, it says we can have four pieces of artillery, but it's grayed out right now. I do not know why. More Virginia volunteers. Aha, now we can recruit in Chihuahua, so we're going to have some Texas volunteers. Midland, Texas, another group of conscripts. Wichita Falls. We're going to be getting a lot of uh, a lot of conscripts, a lot of uh, volunteers because like I said, they can destroy us financially. So the north can afford wonderful soldiers, very expensive soldiers and lots of them. Us on the other hand, mm, not so much. We're going to send this first batch of soldiers to Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee or Jackson, Mississippi? Okay. Next time, next round we're going to build military instead of instead of infrastructure, which we are doing good on. I refuse to give up land. Get over yourself, Lincoln. War declared. The United States has declared war on you. Pull down your britches and prepare for a whipping. War it is, sir. Will I give you one last chance to rescind your insult of declaring war on the Confederacy? Let's see. American Civil War Chronicles. South creates a government. And Robert E. Lee is running our military, with, who I recruited up over here. Of course, I'm actually the one doing it, but, you know, for sake of the game. Okay, we can recruit three more. Maryland volunteers, Virginia volunteers, conscripts. We'll get one of each. A little variety. Let's see, recruitment-wise. Chihuahua can get some more Texas volunteers. Another group of conscripts. We'll have conscripts wherever available. One more group of volunteers and then conscripts. Alabama volunteers. Here we go. We, we are starting to develop a military. Places that were not able to recruit soldiers now can recruit soldiers. We're going to have everyone in this war, and we are going to win. One thing I love about these end turns is they're so quick. Here goes another one. Took us two turns to get up next to Nashville. Let's invest again into the uh, infrastructure the railroads slavery in the safe states and also uh, or in the slave states I think I said safe uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin was released also these videos now instead of just cutting them off um, I know a lot of people a lot of people want to watch the the battles they're not necessarily as interested in the overall strategy so what we're going to do is we are going to uh, put a battle in every video is my plan so we're gonna keep going until we get a good battle 
battle in each episode because some of the other episodes because they were shorter did not always include a battle so you watch like 15 minutes and there's no fight at the end this time we are going to do it a little different we are going to send the Texas Volunteers we are now at war, so let's start moving towards... Oh, there's no army in Santa Fe. We're going to start moving towards the border. Bring up our artillery. Now, see, these guys can move a greater distance, and that artillery, that artillery is going to slow us down. San Antonio is getting to the fight. See, Louisiana can send your soldiers, send yours to Mississippi this go round. And since we are now at war, let's invade Kentucky. Demander sur demanded surrender, and surrender was accepted. We now have Kentucky. see Virginia what is our army looking like up here we do have artillery we have Virginia volunteers they have a lot of armies but these are all pretty much small units combined they'll give us a pretty good fight but we're gonna invade Washington DC somebody refused let's see here 2600 we have artillery they do not who is that to comes to Sherman. Oh, this is going to be an interesting fight. All right, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Let's do Confederate States. Number one. Overwrite file. Yes. Okay, here we go. We are going to have our battle. I will see you on the field. All right, everyone. Welcome to the battlefield. We are about to destroy Sherman. I'm sure we'll have to advance. We are the ones attacking. Oh, wait, no, you know what? We're barely going to advance just to make sure our artillery don't doesn't hit us in the back. So now that I said that, let's move up a little bit further. We are going to start already maneuvering. I want this line to come in. We're going to get some flanking fire on the enemy. How's our artillery doing? Did we get any kills? Yeah, we hit their uh, cavalry. Is that the general? Yes, it is. They're just in the back there. We missed them that time. Ooh, nice shots. Nice shots. We already killed 40 of their infantry. Let's keep it up. There's about to be a lot more dead on the field before this is over. Fighting is about to commence. We are getting some additional kills. I like the artillery. Really. The artillery is to break the morale and to damage a unit. Like to take a unit out to fight, to punch a hole in their line. That's how I use it anyways, but right now I'm just letting them do their own thing. Also, I'm not sure if they fire or what they can hit the easiest, but they usually are pretty good at giving themselves targets when you let them. Alright, here comes the opening barrage. We have opened fire on the enemy. And they have returned fire. Come on, why would you cross in front of the line? They just went four of our soldiers for nothing. Alright, this unit on the right, you can start bending as well. Move into position quickly. Run, please. There we go. 
Can our artillery use shrapnel shot? Yes? No? Yes. I'd like to see the effects of the shrapnel shot. Are they going to fire from here? Yes, they are. Enemy is determined to do damage. They did hit our artillery. Uh oh, what happened to the sounds? No, artillery, I need you to fire on this unit. I mean, did they do damage with those shots at least? I'm not sure. I want to see how dramatically the numbers come down. Here comes a Sherman. Half that general's bodyguard is dead. I mean, these guys must know this is a lost battle. You're taking... It's one unit firing against about four or five of mine, I believe. Just waiting for that artillery to kick in. Come on. That helped a little bit. Are these broken? They could reform, they could come back. Break them, break them, break them. You know what? Stop what you're doing, fire at will. Have we broken these units yet? I mean, they're broke, yes, but shattered. I do not want them returning to the field. I know they're retreating, but the plan is to gun down as many as we can. Keep firing, keep firing. Matter of fact, actually, this is a perfect time to start a maneuver. Since the left flank is somewhat secure. Oh, wait, there's an enemy, enemy general running on the field. Trying not to come into range of my my line though. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to have our infantry basically scoot up. Come on, man. Move into position. Oh, horrible spot for a general. Where is Tecumseh Sherman? I would like to see you take a round. I guess this is him with the bent hat, and there he goes. No. There he is with the pistol. Every man for himself, coward. Abandon your men on the field of battle. Continue. Let's do some more damage here. Artillery, switch to the round shot. Let's continue to put fire on these guys as they pull off the field. We'll fast forward though. You know, when you do that, the frames drop. So I'm going to go to second speed here. It's still faster but we can see it better. They can keep trying. How come they won't shatter? How many of them do we have to kill? I don't know but while this is going on I mean look at the field here. The Union didn't didn't stand a chance. I can tell you that much. I mean, look at this. Just this massive pile. This is what I said. Their flank was exposed to the fire of all these units right here. They should have remained spread out. If they had stayed spread out, I wouldn't have been able to curl my line around them like that. Alright, that's enough firing. Heroic victory. Alright, so there we go. Heroic victory. 
There's our battle for the first episode. As you saw, they lost 1,120 men. We only lost 51. One man was lost to friendly fire. So we did all right. We did great. All right. So the fall of D.C. We have defeated Sherman. And uh, that's not bad for a first episode. I don't know. Anyways, go ahead, like the video, comment, share, uh, spread the word. Let's get this channel blowing up. Let's get everyone onto the uh, strategic gaming tip. All right, everybody. Until next time, I'll see you on the battlefield.